Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to go through the Cambridge and Oxford math questions for the admissions interview. But before we get into that, I just founded a new company called Nano Activewear. We have an Instagram account now, so I'll put the link in the description and up here. If you guys uh, could go ahead and follow that, show any support, I would really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so let's get into the video. We'll start with the Cambridge question that is uh, the square root of three minus two root two. And we're gonna try and simplify it to get one of the answers, A, B, or C. So just by looking at that, we I can, the way I'm gonna start is, I'm gonna say that this three minus two root two, I'll do it in red. So that to me, that might be a perfect square. So we're gonna test that out. So we're gonna say three minus two root two is equal to the expanded form of the perfect square. So we're gonna say, so that would be a squared minus two AB plus B squared. So that comes from uh, if we factor um, down, we can say that comes from this up here, a minus b all squared. Oops, there we go. So next step, I'm gonna do, let's say, let's assume, let a equal to this root two. So that gives us uh, three, oops, three minus two root two is equal to the square root of two squared minus two times the square root of two. Now we're also gonna say B is equal to one. So times one plus one squared, keep it simple. Okay, cool. So that seems to be working. And then the next, Thing we can say if we look back to the expanded form of the perfect square so we see that a lines up with square root of two we see that b lines up with one so if we take it one step further back we can see that uh, factorized we can see that it's a minus b all squared and we know that a is square root of two we know that b is one so we can combine that so we can see that that is equal to square root of two. So A minus one all squared, all right? So that, that comes back to here, all right? And then this, this carries through three minus two root two now, we're getting close, so in order for this, for this number here to match up with this initial um, problem, we're gonna square root it. So we have square root three minus two root two. And we're gonna do the same to the right hand side. So we're gonna have square root of two root two. Oops, sorry. Um, of root two minus one, all squared. And uh, the square root of a number squared is the absolute value, so, and then cancel each other out. So that's gone, that's gone. And then we can see that this carries through to become square root of two minus one. And if we check with our answers, that's A, matches up with A. All right, great, so we solved that, not too bad. Um, so once again, this was the Cambridge problem. Um, obviously, I think in the admissions interview it might be a little bit more, uh, a bit more nerve wracking. So we have the luxury of having all the time in the world to solve this and think about the problem. Okay, cool. So next problem we're gonna look at is the Oxford interview problem. There we go, so it's log three to the base two. Um, 
if you guys want to do this uh, on your own, just pause the video and then we can see what I got after that. Uh, also, I forgot to say these problems are obviously without a calculator. Uh, and in the interview, it's important to know exactly what you're doing. So you can't exactly just say, you know, B looks like the most, um, most likely to be right. And, and so that, that kind of won't fly because they'll ask you the question why. So you have, to kind of, you have to really understand what you're doing. So with this problem, this is how I'm gonna approach it. So we know that, what, so what does this mean? We know that two to the power of something is equal to three. So that's what I'm gonna write. Two to the power of X is equal to three. Okay, cool. So uh, we also know that we're not going to find an exact number. We're looking for a range. And that tells me that we're looking for a lower and upper bound. So then we can say, um, we can raise, we'll look for the lower bound first. So we'll raise both sides, um, two, to the power of X, two to the power of X and three, raise them both to the power of two. So that means we're going to get two to the power of two x equal to three to the power of two now three to the power of two is equal to nine and the next step is we're going to think about what can we raise two to get just below nine because we're looking for the lower bound right now so we know two to the power of two is four two to the power of three is eight uh, and two to the power of four is 16. So 16 is no good. Uh, we're gonna go with eight. So we know that nine is larger than eight and eight is equal to two to the power of three. Now, something interesting happens. We see that this two and this two, we now have, uh, we now have the same base, which is great. So now we know that two to the power of two X is larger than two to the power of three. From this, we gather two X is larger than three and X is larger than three on two, which is one of the answers here. So from here, oh, I already know it's one and one half and that is the only answer here. So we think I would already say that it's probably C. But to conclude this kind of, this, the, the problem, we're gonna go and find the upper bound now. So similar approach, we're gonna say two to the power of X is equal to three, just as before. But this time we are going to raise two to the power of three X. So two to the, uh, we're gonna raise both sides to the power of three. So we get two to the power of three X and three to the power of three. 3 to the power of 3 carries on through to become 27. Uh, and to find something around 27, so we're looking for an upper bound, so a number slightly larger than 27. Um, and I can think of, as we said before, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, 2 to the power of 5 is then 32. So we're going to go with 32, which is equal to 2 to the power of 5. Okay, once again, we see our two numbers here with the same base. We say two to the power of three X is larger than two to the power of, oh, I'm sorry, we made a mistake. 27 is smaller than 32. So similar thing here, smaller then two to the power of five. And that carries through to being, um, as before, three X is smaller than five. Sorry, that looks, that's wrong. Three, three X is smaller than five. And then that carries through to being X is smaller than five on three. And that confirms that five on three is one and two thirds. So that confirms our suspicion from the finding the lower bound that the 
answer is C. All right, not bad. So that's the Oxford question done. Um, this is new to the channel. So if you guys have any other, uh, any other methods of solving these, I know there's probably plenty, perhaps even easier, easier and faster methods than I did. Uh, so let me know in the comments below. Also, if you've been following along, I've been doing virtual internship videos. So I am currently working on another one. So stay tuned for that. Once again, don't forget to follow Nano Activewear on Instagram. Um, and yeah, our first drop is coming soon as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, thanks.